So many famous entrepreneurs had to overcome dyslexia. Walt Disney, Richard Branson, Steven Spielberg, Steve Jobs, Henry Ford, just to name a few. People still view dyslexia as a disadvantage, something that you have to overcome to succeed. Do you look at dyslexia as a disadvantage? Fudge. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Dyslexia is the biggest advantage, in my personal opinion, mm. that I've ever had. What it comes down to is a few things. Number one is how you perceive. Great book by Viktor Frankl called Man's Search for Meaning is how you perceive your circumstances. Mm. You know, at first when I was younger, yeah, I perceived my circumstances as the victim, poor me, poor me. But I flipped that over time as I learned and as I growed and as I worked on myself. And I realized that my greatest strengths lie within my perceived weakness. And that's one of my personal vision statements. That's like the personal mm. vision statement that I have is to create a world where I can help people help them identify their greatest strengths within their perceived weaknesses. When everybody was parting, I was working my Buns. ass off. That taught me work ethic. When people, because of pride or ego or fear, weren't asking for help and were messing up left and right, I was trained from a young age. You don't know the question, you go ask for help. Mm -hmm. Dyslexia taught me that. When all of these college professors were offering office hours, free time mm. with them. People that have been in the professional world, people that have written books and written dissertations and have had success. I would show up many times, not just to ask for help, mm. but to hang out and build relationships. Yeah. Dyslexia taught me to put myself out there, learn from people that are older than you, that are wiser than you, learn from them. Not only go to them when you have a specific need, but build a relationship with them. Dyslexia taught me that. And guess what, in the business world, you gotta learn how to network and build networks and build relationships and put yourself out there, right? Dyslexia taught me what it was to be dedicated, to stay dedicated. I remember when I was going to DU, there would be not just Fridays, but Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, where I would literally be in the library for over 12 hours a day. I would wake up, I would go to Subway, I would get two foot longs, and not I would- Not cookie. Not cookies, because I gain weight very quickly. <laughs> but two foot longs, I would have one for breakfast, and literally have one for dinner at 6 p.m., like seven hours later. I was in the library all day, mm. working and grinding. Did I have fun? Sure, of course. However, dyslexia as a disadvantage, hell no. It taught me so many things that gave me so many advantages in life. Advantages that I see others struggling with. Without dyslexia, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'm so grateful for it. And not only do I embrace it and I love it every single day, but I teach others to embrace it and love it as well. Guess what? Your perception of your mm -hmm. circumstance puts you down and could put you behind. But sometimes you need that spark, that light in your life to showcase to you that no, this is some of the greatest strength and the strengths that you will discover through this journey will propel you way farther than you could believe. So what would you tell your younger self who recently discovered he had dyslexia? What I would tell my younger self is don't be the victim, be curious and ask questions mm. and learn. Be a student, be a student not just of learning, but be a student to yourself. Being curious to learn more about yourself. Because the more you learn about yourself, the more that you love yourself and the more that you can grow. And don't look at other people. That was the biggest thing, is that I would look at other people and compare myself to other people. Don't compare yourself to other people. Only compare yourself to yourself. That's it. There's one scoreboard. It's your scoreboard. Just like when you go to the gym, I'm not gonna look at other people around me. I'm gonna walk in there, I'm gonna do that exercise, and then the next day when I do that same exercise, my goal is to perform better than mm. I did the day before. Not looking at what everybody else is doing. Those are just distractions. Mm. And you look at every famous athlete, you look at Kobe Bryant, you look at Michael Phelps, you look at Michael Jordan, they all say the same thing. There should be only one person you should be competing against, mm. and it's yourself, period.